good morning good afternoon or good evening i'm gonna do today the cost of living after touring thailand for the last four months so if you're not thinking of coming over to thailand and touring it this is your base cost because i'm a budget traveler and all my channel is based around budget traveling so everything i say today is going to be your bottom end because i'd be very surprised if people could do it cheaper than what i have and if you take in consideration oh by the way <laughs> i'm in cm rape at the moment i've just arrived and that's why i thought it'd be a good idea after the four months that i'd give the base cost of everything it cost me the average of over the four months of what everything's cost so after traveling in order bangkok chiang mai i did the mei hon song loop Pattaya, Ko Chang, Kuala Lumpur. I've got my bit of paper here. <laughs> not Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur is going to be taken out. Obviously, it's not Thailand. So I'm taking them costs out. So it's still the four months in Thailand. Phuket, Koh Samui, Koh Panyang, Koh Tao, and Kanchanaburi. I went to Bangkok many times because that's your, that's your main hub. That's where you travel from the vast majority of times. And uh, Kanchanaburi, I've been a few times. Chiang Mai, the same, I've been a few times. So it, this is me touring. This isn't a bit the cost of living. If, you, if you're going to move it into Bangkok, I was travelling about. So if you're actually going to move there, you could do it a lot cheaper. Uh, because then you don't, you're not having to pay the hotel costs. You can get yourself a nice little apartment for 10,000 baht. It's a two, £225 a month, $250. And you can do it much cheaper. But this is, the, like I say, this is the base cost. This isn't including things like if you want to go for a fancy meal, you put that on top. Or if you want a few beers and things like that, this is your base. This is your accommodation, your food, the public transportation, um, yeah, washing your clothes, SIM card, my visa, um, a bike rent. I did a few tours, my fuel, and my, my, when I'm buying water. Anything else that you want for your pleasure, you put that on top. This is your base cost. So over the four months, the average for the accommodation was £350. That's travelling all over Thailand. Like I say, that's all, all the islands. And I, I averaged off, that's about, what, £12 a night? £11, £12 a night? And if you look on my channel, everything, all the, all the costs, all my travel everything's included all the prices i've paid whatever i buy food anything if you want to check it out there's all the playlists there for all nearly all of thailand there was only this and that i probably missed out and some of the provinces in between but i, 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 I will be back i will be back to thailand in Christ, uh, christmas at the minute i'm at the royal independence gardens in cm Reap. and it looks very nice a lot of statues that we'll have a walk around while I'm talking about things, we can check out the park as well at the same time. It's a queer place, CM Reap. Yeah, CM Reap. It is a, a one of me uh, subscribers mentioned on a, a comment. Good, a good look. Be careful in Cambodia because it's like the Wild West of Asia. And that got me thinking. So I've been walking about all day. I've been. I, I can see exactly where he's coming from. I haven't seen one policeman. The roads are wild. Um, tuk tuk drivers and what have you, they just get out of the, in the main road, they just get it, pull the tuk tuk over. On the main road, where there's loads of people about, and they'll just have a way up against the wall. No, uh, I don't know what the crack is with toilets and things like that. But yeah, there's, there seems to be a little bit lawless, if you like. Yeah, we'll see the rest of Cambodia. And I, I've only just got here, so I've only been here for a day. So we'll kind of see, about, see how it goes on. So yeah, accommodation, £350. That was the average over four months for one month, £350. For food, £170. Now on food, I try and eat good. And I eat plenty. You know, I've done many, many food reviews. I show you the vast majority of things that I eat. £170 for a month. That's just over £5 a day. Or $6, $7. Public transportation. When I haven't had a more better rent for scooter, I've, uh, I have been obviously getting public transport. That's getting buses from destination to destination. We travel days. When I'm in Bangkok for the MRT or the BTS, 
uh, everything like that that averages up at 45 pounds a month at the end of it uh, the, the 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 last cost of a month the cost i'll give you that in pounds euros dollars even in bat i've got it all here now let's see who these guys are start off the beginning i'll just have to keep stopping and starting the camera because i don't want it to get too hot because it has been a nice day it's just getting on to tea time now and the sun might be going down soon i was hoping that this park i might get a nice sunset which is a bit shaded in yeah so you've got 12 statues here let's see what they are oh it's all in cambodian i'll take it they're warriors or something from the past he looks like a bit of a a robin hood <laughs> Uh, he's from uh, the UK, from England, Robin Hood, back in the past. Oh, they all look like, uh, like they all have bone arrows. I wish I had an English description on it as well. He said he could see what it is. If anyone speaks Cambodian, please hit me up on the comments. Looks like it was a long, long time ago. Yeah, it's, a, it's a small park but it's really nice there's a few people praying over yonder there's a, a couple of shrines yeah the, it's Yem Reap it, it seems a bit crazy the, the tuk tuk drivers they're just pulling up all the time I've heard many 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 stories about them ripping people off and getting them in the they're like a bit like Bangkok to be honest and they've got to make a living but it, there's a way of doing it and there's a way of not doing it you know uh, in Siem Reap, they are a lot worse in the day I've been here than what they are in Bangkok and that's saying something because Bangkok's getting quite bad with the truck truck drivers moving on public transport we did that £45 my clothes me washing my clothes £8 £8 a month see so yeah, I look about uh, there's places where you can get it 100 baht a kilo there's a place where you can get 30 baht a kilo your clothes washed I always just went for the 30 you know you've just got to have a look about go on Google reviews go on Google Maps find out the information so all you have to do is a little bit of research and you can find out everything cheaper than what you will if you walk out your hotel or if you go to your hotel that's probably the most expensive place and then get your clothes washed there I mean the place in Kanchanaburi where I was at they washed your clothes for free and that place was £6 a night check it out check it out on the playlist Kanchanaburi the cheapest hotel in Thailand by far and it, it was great great internet really nice hotel now I turned the page over I did renew this <laughs> renew the writing because I was going from the highest cost to the lowest cost and I've just jumped in there with them I turned the page over so the washing should have been down near the bottom <laughs> typical Richie fashion my bike rent when I've been renting a bike that was a long time in uh, doing the Mae Song loop in Chiang Mai and then when I, when I was going to all of the islands I was getting a bike and I was paying on average 150 baht a day if I was just getting them for the, a few days but more, most of the places I, like uh, Chiang Mai when I did the Mae Song loop I got one for 3,000 baht a month and that was a, a 150 150 cc but that averages off over the four months at 60 pound a month 60 pound cheap very cheap if you take that in consideration where i've been looking in cm reap uh, uh, well in this city alone you apparently you're not allowed to hire uh, the foreigners are not allowed to hire motorbikes only in cm reap not in uh, on the rest of cambodia why that is i don't know it could be do something to do with the tuk tuk mafia uh, so yeah 60 pound a month very very cheap very cheap i mean if you're coming over here for a long time you're going to buy one you want to buy one because instead of just giving somebody else the money all the time you can go out pay 400 pound for a bike 500 dollars and that'll last you a long 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 time and instead you're going to be paying six 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 sixty pound a month what's that 100 600 720 pound a year you could have a bike for half that cost uh visa now over the two months obviously you come here for one month you get visa free uh, for the vast majority of countries I'm not sure about everyone but in the UK I know the US 
places like that they get one month free 30 days and then the next month you got to renew your visa and that costs in uk 42 pounds it's that's over two months so in one month 21 pound tours whenever i went and done tours that was uh, i probably did one twice a month uh, when i was going to when you see me snorkeling or going to the jungle treks on the islands things like that that cost me 25 pound a month again if you're doing more that this is your baseline this is just what you want to be doing as, as for an average you know i mean you don't want to be doing nothing you don't want to come to this island and seeing nothing so you want to be doing a couple of things a month at least fuel fuel for me bike that average is up at 20 pound a month again very very cheap the bikes are cheap to run here the petrol isn't expensive it's maybe it's a bit more than half the price of what it is in the uk i'm not sure about in the us and other countries in europe hear the music oh they're all i thought it was uh, in poipet when they come over from the border the tuk tuk drivers they had big bass speakers and they're just blasting out music from all over the place like really really loud in the daytime so i thought it was just another tuk tuk driver we'll go and check that out soon so yeah fuel 20 pound oh who's this fella anak sanjak shridiva he looks like he means business Washing, I did washing, eight pound a month. Oh, you wouldn't want to be getting hit by that. Why oh, he's got big feet? <laughs> I think they got that one a little bit wrong. <laughs> Unless he did have that bigger feet when he was younger, when he was alive. But bloody hell, they are big feet. Sim cards sim cards there was two months where i didn't really know where to buy the cheapest ones i didn't really know you learn you learn as you're here so for a couple of months i paid 10 pound a month and then for the last two months i paid five pound they're all the same packages really the first times i was going to 7-eleven first two months i didn't really know so that's where you think to go that's where you always see the sim cards you see the prices and then from then on, the last two months, I was going straight to the True Move shop. Now, the True Move shop, you can get them cheaper, probably half the price. Well, it was half the price for the same package. I was paying £5. So that obviously averages out at £7.50 for the month. Oh, there's another one again. You would not want to be getting hit by that. And he's a big guy. I think it's all men on this side. Oh no, there's men. I thought there was women on one side and men on the other, but no, it's, uh, I think they're all men actually. <laughs> I might have thought you might have had a few Joan of Arcs and what have you. You've got to have women in, uh, in history as well who were warriors. Oh, they had some awful weapons back then. Look at that. It's a nice little park, this. Nice little park. Right next to the river. Don't know what river, but my hotel was on it. I'm going to stay there for a couple of nights and then move on to another hotel so I can show you a bit. Of, uh, show you different options, different parts of the city, see what they're like. I want to follow this music and see what's going on. Water, water, essential. You need your water. Now, a lot of places I was going, you get free water. The hotels, when you book in, you've normally got a, a couple of bottles of water there for free. So that cut the cost down a lot. And, and in other places, in the big cities, you have uh, water machines, water filter machines, and they're very, very cheap, very cheap. You're talking uh, one bath for three quarters of a litre of water. So there, yeah, that was really, really cheap. But I've mentioned in other vlogs with them machines, 
you want to be looking for the new ones because the filters need to be changed all the time and on the old ones you can't see them being done that if they can't look after the machine itself on the outside you think they're not going to be doing the same on the filters as well so that averages off the 10 pound a month for your water well, i have noticed water's probably double the price here than what it was in bank uh, in thailand Whee! roads crazy roads Go well, fitness it's a bit like reminds me a bit of thailand and all the parks you got all these machines people keeping fit people running this could be an asia thing we'll see when we go to other countries i won't go too far down there because i'll get a copyright but I don't know if you can see, but you get the general idea. I'll put it on quickly because I've got 15 seconds before I get hit with a copyright. It's really good to see you get this in Thailand all over on the mornings, on the evenings. It's your workout, you come and get a drink off this lady here, Susie so Day. People keep fit. Oh, you can get yourself an ice cream. Bun Chai ice cream. Tuk Tuk's on the ready to get your home. To be fair, there's tuk-tuks absolutely everywhere, yeah? Everywhere. Millions of them. They'll wait outside your hotel for you. I know there's two or three that sit outside my hotel. And they're on you straight away. Everyone's got to make a living, you know? And I don't get angry about it. Uh, you, you, you just have a laugh with them, you know? And they, they'll laugh back with you. You know, they, they, they don't mind. Uh, the thing that... I've seen today, before I just come down here, I was at the I went to a restaurant. Oh, it makes it sound posh, but it wasn't. It was chicken burger and fries for two dollars. I haven't had one for months, so I thought I'd treat myself. For two dollars for chicken burger and fries, it was really, really nice. It was really good, nice fresh bun. But yeah, what I was talking about was, before I get sidetracked as always, the ladies stand outside restaurants and they're asking people, I'm trying to get across this road. They're asking people if they want to, if they want any food, or if they want to come into the restaurant and things like that. And people are just walking past and blindly ignoring them. They'll look at them, give them a blank expression on the face and just totally ignore them. <laughs> and yeah, just totally ignore them. And come on, what's your problem? You can't just ignore people like that. Then you have a bit of dignity and just say, no, I'm okay, thank you. It's, uh, it's insane, sometimes. You get embarrassed for people because they're just so ignorant. I know everybody asks you, but that, that's the job. If they don't ask you, they'll get fired. So yeah, that way, wake up and just say, no, I'm okay, thank you. I couldn't, I couldn't, as they say in Cambodia. Ice coffee or tea? Ice coffee, where'd I get that from? Or just normal coffee? <laughs> normal coffee and tea. A lot of the places where I see ATMs here, they're all in these, um, what do you call them? Glass boxes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it must be because uh, I think it, the crime here could be pretty bad. Like yourself, see no police whatsoever. Took to drive away for someone. Labo Pizza Romania, Romana. Two dollar starter, fresh pasta. Six dollars. Trying to seek out light. It's not the light that's first to see Emery. If you look at the light, the lamp posts, they're very, very high and I think they might be solar powered or something, I don't know. They're not knocking on much light though. The end cost. The end cost is you go with glasses on. What I've spent on average over the four months I was in Thailand is £716. £716. Now I've just done uh, Thailand is Thailand expensive vlog while I was in when I was in Thailand. And this explains exactly how expensive Thailand is. You know, £716. That is very, very cheap for a month. 
think of the cost of living in your home country. This is me touring about all the islands, everywhere where I mentioned before, up and down the country all the time, £716. So in dollars, you're talking $871. In euros, 822 euros. And in baht, 31,500 baht. So make your own mind up. Is it cheap? Is it expensive? Think about what you're paying in your home country. When I left the UK, oh, it's gonna be a bloody heart attack. <laughs> Kids messing about. Uh, when I left the UK, I was renting a house. It was a nice house. It was £575 a month. I was just about to put it up. They were nice people. But see, £575 a month I was paying. Now I'm in Thailand, or I was in Thailand, travelling about all over the country, having a great time for £716 a month. It's great. Honestly, if you can, if you've got the opportunity, get out of here. Get out of Asia. Get away from the West. They're, they're just sucking the blood out of us. That's all they're doing. That's the exact reason why I came here. I couldn't take it no more. Right, thank I hope you found this interesting. I hope it's inspired people to try and make the move and come over to Asia or Thailand. I mean, Thailand is known as one of the most expensive countries in Asia. Now, with the fledgling economy, the economy's going wild in Thailand. It's doing really, really well. Uh, where am I now? Cambodia, not so much. So yeah, there's my paper gone. <laughs> Took me a long time to write all that out. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a sinking ship. It's a sinking ship as the West is just sucking the blood out of us. So I, I had to make the move, I couldn't take it no more. I'm nearly 50 though, you know. For somebody people younger, it might not be so easy. Thanks for watching, again, I hope you found it interesting and inspiring. And I hope you can make the move soon. If you've got any questions, anything at all, if you need any information, any help, anything I can do, just drop me a message in the comments and I'll answer every message and I'll, I'll help you in any way I can. Catch me in the next one. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Like, share, and I'll see you in the next one. And see you every... Have a good day.